earlier on the programme, we spoke to Professor, Professor Ash Soni, who is president of the Royal Pharmaceutical Society. He told us that we're meant to wash our hands for the same amount of time that it takes to sing the song Happy Birthday twice. We did sing it. Apologies for the singing, but this is just how long 20 seconds is. It's quite a long time. Indeed. Antics Road on BBC One this afternoon, half past four, of course. It's time to get the news, travel and weather where you are. See you soon. Can I have it? <laughs> Our main story. Budget airline Ryanair has until five o'clock this evening to correct its compensation policy for hundreds of thousands of passengers affected by flight cancellations, or it could face possible legal action by the UK's aviation regulator. The Civil Aviation Authority accused the airline of persistently... Theresa May has stressed in a speech at a military base in Estonia that Britain is unconditionally committed to the defence of Europe. The Prime Minister says the UK's role in Europe's security has never been more vital. At a conference in the Estonian capital, Tallinn, later this morning, she'll tell European le leaders the UK wants to build a new security partnership after Brexit. Let's go to our... Thank you. Uh, we had some news uh, bring, being brought to us in the last few minutes. We understand that at least 15 people have been killed and more than 20 wounded in a stampede at a train station in India. Yes, at the moment, the information we're receiving is the incident happened in the city of Mumbai. A railway station there during a heavy downpour, and we'll get more information for you as it comes in this morning. Um, time now is eight minutes past eight. Millions of older people are putting themselves at risk of falls because they're failing to maintain their strength. Martin, have you challenged the government to see what it's going to do about this now? I'm We've so sorry, somebody else was talking in my earpiece at the time. Apologies. I, couldn't, I couldn't hear what was going on. Apologies. I don't know what they're talking about, but it's nothing to do with this. Oh, well, well, we're going to change the subject as well while we've got you. Take advantage of your, your um, knowledge about this next story. We've been leading with Ryanair today. Um, there's a deadline at five o'clock for it to make clear how it will um, compensate passengers. Um, whose flights have been affected. Uh, have you any advice for any passengers who are waiting for this news or who are, are trying to get some money back as these, uh, uh, because they've been hit by these flight cancellations? Through the terms and conditions, yes. didn't you? And yes. the, uh, but now, on many websites, you yes. just yes. click, you just say, um, I accept straight away. You've got away. a shiny phone. You want to get on the app because mm. someone's saying, you know... One of those views you could never be bored of seeing. Mm -hmm. Not for me, anyway. Uh, time now, four minutes to nine. His spot-on impersonations of Gary Lineker, David Beckham and Jonathan Ross made him a household name in the 90s and earned him her BAFTA for his primetime show, Alistair McGowan's Big Impression. But now he's swapped the impersonating celebrities' ideas for perfecting the works of composers such as Bach and Chopin for his debut album of piano. Pedal where you pedal, so your foot is always like that. No, I don't drive, so I'm not used to that sort of thing. And it really hurt my knee, so I was having to ice my knee in between. We are familiar with uh, piano players as performers. I mean, yeah. I think because uh, you get great artists who can play beautifully, but also get people who live. Powerhouse. Remember when that idea was introduced by the former Chancellor, George Osborne? Well, has it made a difference? Sean's at a technology firm, Siemens, in Congleton, in Cheshire for us, finding out just that morning. <laughs> There's no cooking on our programme. Um, <laughs> that's it from us, Jasmine Johnny. Thank you. Uh, now on BBC One, it's time for Fake Britain with Dominic Littlewood.